uh, four phases of Lok Sabha elections are already done. More than half of the seats are already in the EVMs. Okay. So how do you see, because some people are saying that 400 par is something very over ambitious and it's not going to be fulfilled. How do you feel personally? Sir, we have done 380, uh, four phases, we have done 380, uh, three more phases to go, 163 more to be done. So we have already crossed, in my personal opinion, we have crossed simple majority long time back. And uh, now uh, the heavyweight uh, constituencies are coming, including Maharashtra, including Uttar Pradesh, including many heavyweight, Delhi, everything is coming now. So I'm extremely confident that the numbers we have set, 370 for BJP and 400 for NDA, is not only realistically possible, we are almost on track to achieve it, and 100% we will achieve it. Modi ji is campaigning all over the country, but now it's the turn of Modi ji's his own constituency. Yesterday, he was filing his nomination, day before yesterday, he was campaigning, a rally was there in his constituency. So how do you see why from Varanasi coming from Modi ji and BJP overall? Sir, now, uh, previously also we have seen constituencies of prime ministers. Now, can we say... This one constituency which was for a Prime Minister for five years, has it fundamentally transformed or changed? We will start from 1952, sir. So none of the constituencies where Prime Minister got elected from the constituency can claim with pride that we have undergone a fundamental transformational change. Now Varanasi can very proudly claim it has changed. Completely, sir. Be it the, the urban infra, to be it the temple corridors, be it everything, every indicator you see, every time I go to Varanasi, I'm amazed by the kind of transformational changes Varanasi has gone through. Now, Modiji has shown the world what a Prime Minister can do to a place. One, he is an MP first, which Modiji has delivered. He has done his MP work very faithfully. So, what the outpouring of emotion we saw day before yesterday in the roadshow, the whole of Varanasi was on the streets, and yesterday, the nomination process, we all, we all have seen it. And with a lot of dignity, we have seen with a lot of uh, enthusiasm somehow people have conducted themselves over the last two, three days in Varanasi. So this time Modiji is going to win with a resounding margin. Of course, that is going to go across. Because now, now Modiji not only is making sure that Varanasi is great, he also making all the MPs to commit themselves to same kind of developmental journey which he is doing there. So I, of course, the transformative effect is going everywhere. And what we have seen in TV, the visuals. And I'm very sure Modiji is in Mumbai today. And again, on the 17th, Modiji is coming back to Mumbai, Shivaji Park. And uh, everywhere, I think the same enthusiasm, same roadshow, people are coming out. We have seen in Tamil Nadu multiple roadshows we have done for Modiji previously also, the last two, three months. So once you see that people coming out, normally politics in AC rooms, they talk, this is happening, that is happening. Once you see people in the ground, they are very clear. My vote is for Modiji and Modiji has to come back. Vijay Bhattivar, who is leader of opposition in Maharashtra, and he was part of the government in uh, 2008 when this attack took place. But he has alleged that uh, special public prosecutor Ujjwal Nikam, who is a BJP candidate now, he had suppressed the names of police officials who had actually killed ATS chief Karkare instead of uh, Kasab and uh, Abu Ismail, etc. Sir, I am seeing all this allegation that is coming up after uh, Ujjwal Nikamji is proposed as uh, our candidate and after he has started hitting the streets. Now, one thing we have to understand. Ujjwal Nikamji, or that point of time, the whole public prosecution, they have done a very good job here by nailing, because it is an international conspiracy. It is not a very easy case, sir. It's an international conspiracy. The brain was behind in some other foreign country, operated, and uh, uh, killer squad sent here. Then people, somebody got captured, somebody got killed. And then the enemy country not cooperating with respect to the details that is asked till a, a case happened. A respect was given to the judicial process, even to the accused, part of the judicial process. Then the accused also went through the same judicial process, then he was sanked. Then the prosecution also brought out the conspiracy based on the police investigation. Then we all came to know what has happened. Now, it is opposition parties who, who bring all these kinds of allegations saying this and that. It only shows their desperation. And a person like Ujjwal Nikamji is a very decorated uh, public servant, public prosecutor, who has, who has made sure that Mumbai is safe after that attack. But we all, the whole thing was happening, live camera, prosecution uh, argument was happening, everybody was seeing. Now, why uh, rake up that argument now? Why now? After he is proposed as a candidate. Now, people of Mumbai are smart enough to see through this political duplicity of the opposition party. And uh, here only we saw some people going to the extent of saying that even the death of certain police officers was orchestrated, some organization behind it. So, that kind of stupid allegations they are making. So, people of Mumbai will teach everybody a fitting lesson. When the results were being counted on June 4th, people will know that this kind of political lies will not hold.